But the problem is, super intelligent AI is reporting to stupid leaders. And that's why in the next 15 years, we are going to hit a short-term dystopia. There's no escaping that. Thing. Having AI leaders, is that even fundamentally possible? Let's put it this way. AI isn't your enemy, but it could be your savior. And I have enough evidence to know that we can use AI to build the utopia. But it's a dystopia if humanity manages it badly. So what you're essentially saying is that you now believe there'll be a period of dystopia. And to define the word dystopia, I've used AI. It says a terrible society where people live under fear, control or suffering. And then you think we'll come out of that dystopia into a utopia, which is defined as a perfect or ideal place where everything works well, a good society where people live in peace, health and happiness. Correct. So, and, and the difference between them, interestingly, is what I normally refer to as the second dilemma, which is the po point where we hand over completely to AI. So a lot of people think that when AI is in full control, it's going to be an existential risk for humanity. You know, I have enough uh, evidence to, to argue that when we fully hand over to AI, that's going to be our salvation. That the problem with us today is not you know, that intelligence is going to work against us. So as we're in this dystopia period, did you, did you forecast the length of that dystopia? Yeah, I count it. I count it exactly as 12 to 15 years. I mean, it w we will see signs in 26. We've seen signs in 24, but we will see escalating signs next year. And then a, a, a clear uh, slip in 27. Why? The geopolitical environment of our world is not very positive.